I'm Grant Houston. And I'm Brandon Harris. And we are here to bring you the news you need to know, want to know, and should know to get you through your week. Attention seniors, Diploma Pickup will be on Friday, June 28th and July 1st through the 3rd from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the PHS foyer. Each senior will be issued six free tickets for graduation. They will be distributed on May 22nd and 23rd before and after school and during lunches outside the main office. Each senior will be given a one-time code and a link to purchase up to three extra tickets from June 3rd to the 6th. Please do not lose your code and remember, no tickets will be sold at the door. Wanting to support our Viking Musical Arts Department? The band concert is on June 3rd, orchestra is on June 4th, and the choir concert is on June 10th, all at 7 p.m. in the PHS Auditorium. We will be having our blood drive on Thursday, May 23rd. Please scan the QR code to sign up. On Wednesday and Thursday, the double team of Kirsten Stacksetter and Haley Kim, as well as the single player, Kaylee Duong, are playing the WCD Tennis Tournament. The goal is to qualify for the state tournament in the Tri-Cities on Memorial Day weekend. Please wish them luck if you see them. Now over to the sidelines with Maddie Weaver and Jackson Hargis. I'm Maddie Weaver. And I'm Jackson Hargis. And, and welcome, welcome back, back to, to the, the sidelines. Boys baseball is heading to state playoffs. The team is ranked number two and will face number 15 Newport this week. Boys soccer is also headed to the state playoffs. The boys are ranked number seven and will play number 10 Mount Si. Boys track had a big showing at the SPS L meet and placed second overall behind Olympia. The girls track team had great individual performances with Millie Gardapi placing second in the high jump, Afechi Okoye placing second in the 800 meters, Hadley Skog placing second in the 300 meter hurdles, and Ellie Farmani placing third in the 100 meter hurdles. Girls Water Polo had a great match against the South Kitsap Wolves, beating them 21-2. Thanks for tuning in to this week's segment of the Sidelines. And as always, way, way to go, go Vikes! I know you might think you've already filled out this form, but I promise this is going to be different. Decision Day is our opportunity to honor the many different paths our seniors are taking after high school. Some are joining the military, some are going to college or tech school, some are going into internships and apprentices, and some already have a career lined up. If you know your plan, we want to know about it. Scan the QR code at the end of the video to register for our Decision Day celebration. But what is Decision Day? Decision Day provides an opportunity for you to wear your cap and gown with your classmates headed to the same post-high plan as you among family and friends. We'll then have an opportunity to line up together, hear our names called, then we'll all line up in front of the school, all of us together one final time as Vikings before we go our separate ways. This moment is unlike any other. Be a part of Decision Day. Scan the QR code to register. What's up Vikes, it's Logan Tomer, and today I did an inside look at Native American Student Union, bringing you the news you need to know, want to know, and should know about the Native American Student Union. Let's go. My first impression of Native American Student Union was surprising, as the community has a very diverse group of people from all different types of backgrounds. Uh, my name is Evita Fuentes. I think I've been a part of this club. I'm not entirely sure, but maybe since like October. It means a lot because like, it gives me a sense of belonging here because there's not a lot of representation here and um, just makes me feel like I'm not alone. I am Simshian Haida Clinkett Nest Person Yakima, so mainly Alaska Native. Um, well, it was for me, it was kind of weird growing up because, like, uh, there wasn't very many Native Americans, so I always thought being Native American was weird. And then until uh, I found my community up in Seattle. After being able to sit in during the club's announcements, I later had the privilege of speaking to the Native American City Union captain, Loki. All right, I'm here with Loki. Then Loki gave me insight on his native language. It's called uh, Muskogee. We just call it Muskogee, but like, uh, I know very few words for my grandpa just because like, it's very broken still. Mm -hmm. But Humbukste is like, it's time to eat. So like, that's something that I always heard when I was growing up. 
and then uh, Okwa is dog. So like when like we're going out and hunting, then he'll like yell at the dog. He does. He never names his dogs. It's just Okwa. Loja is turtle, uh, and my family's from Turtle Village. Owa is water, and that's uh, actually something really cool. Is like that's my dad's middle name. So. And then I heard a lot about um, during the meeting the name Archie kept coming up. Who's Archie yeah. and his relevance to Native American? So Archie Cantrell is our. Uh, Puyallup liaison. He actually got me to go speak to the White House uh, on Indian education reform a couple years ago, which was really cool. Overall, Loki is easily one of the most interesting people I have ever met. I would not have been able to learn about these experiences if I didn't sit in to the Native American Student Union Club. I strongly suggest to anyone out there looking to join a club, Native American Student Union might be the one for you. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of VNN. Thanks for watching and remember to stay, stay purple, Vikes!